Hello, how to answer 40 mark questions for AS Politics Unit 2. Okay, well firstly, the questions are normally fairly broad, usually based around some kind of debate. And what you need to do in your argument or in your essay is present both sides of the argument. Arguments for, arguments against. Each paragraph needs to have detailed examples which are recent, or as recent as possible. Okay, and it's been every single point that you make. You also need to have a clear structure throughout your essay and you need to have a clear argument, i.e. which side of the fence um, are you going to sit on. I think in the exam it's always worth doing a little plan, spending two or three minutes, one like this. Uh, the points for, the points against, and also what your view is, what is your argument going to be. I would also do something about key words, because remember AO3 uh, requires keywords. So if it's a constitution question, you probably want to get codified, uncodified in there, asymmetrical devolution. If it's a parliament question, you no know, legitimacy, mandate, those sorts of points. Okay, first things first, introductions. Uh, introductions, I would say, need three things. Okay, the first thing you need to do is explain any of the key terms or a little bit about the nature of the debate. So let's say the question is, I don't know, um, should the UK adopt a codified constitution? In no more than two sentences, I would very briefly explain what that debate is. Something along the lines of, the UK presently has an uncodified constitution, which means it's not written into a single document. However, some have argued that Britain should adopt a single codified constitution. Just very briefly explain some main points. You then need to explain the points you're going to discuss or signpost them. Just highlight what you're going to argue. So on the uncodified side, you say um, the constitution presently has flexibility, etc, uh, etc. Et However, on those who want it codified, talk about having entrenched rights and freedoms. And then thirdly, the bit most people do leave out is you need to do one sentence to sum up which side of the fence you're sitting on. So for our question here about should we have a codified constitution, do you think yes we should, or do you think no we shouldn't? One sentence at the end of your introduction. So three things I would say for an introduction. Then you're on to the main body. Now what you're looking for, I would say, is three or four paragraphs which support your side of the argument first. And I would always start off with your main first paragraph being what is your strongest point that supports your point of view. So if you are arguing that the constitution should be codified, okay, so it should not be codified, then what you need to do is start off your next paragraph, the main reason why the UK should keep its uncodified constitution is then whatever you think. Let's say you say flexibility. You then need to explain why that point's important and introduce examples. So for that question, you might say, for example, devolution shows the flexibility because the constitution was able to adapt to, to people's or public's attitudes in the late 1990s. Your final sentence of each paragraph should link directly back to the question. Therefore, it is clear that flexibility offered by an uncodified constitution is a great advantage to the United Kingdom something along those lines. And what you're looking for are three, four paragraphs on that side of the argument. When you've done those, you're then looking at doing three paragraphs on the opposite side. However, an argument to suggest we should have a codified constitution is, you know, it'll entrench people's civil liberties. Explain why that's important, but then your final sentence would say, however, this is not as important as it being uncodified because, so you're linking it back to your argument. And then finally, really crucial is the conclusion. I would rather in the exam, if you miss out a paragraph and write the conclusion, it is really essential. Um, in, your in, in your conclusion, introduce no new information. What you should do is evaluate the points you've made and directly answer the question. It is therefore clear that Britain should adopt a, should have an uncodified constitution because the flexibility and whatever and tradition or whatever happens to be your point. So the conclusion is really important. So every essay, clear introduction, a couple of points, no, three or four points for one side of the argument, three points for the other side of the argument, and a very clear conclusion. Each one with evidence, each one recent evidence if possible. Do that 
40 marks, easy peasy.